Hey, this is Danielle. Welcome to the free video. Today, I want to talk about unitednaturalfoods.com. Now, this is going to be a wholesale provider of natural and organic food. As I'm sure you know, this type of food is ridiculously expensive. Um, and they're also the main supplier of Whole Foods, which of course is a ridiculously expensive grocery store, but it's also very delicious. So, uh, looking at this ticker overall, I mean, they've definitely had some ups and downs over time, especially if you look at a weekly chart, it looks like it kind of topped out in 2015, had some rough, rough times, but ever since about the pandemic, really, which was in uh, March of last year, they've had a major trend shift and, you know, they've been shifting to the upside. Of course, people have become a lot more health conscious throughout the entire pandemic, all that good stuff. Then you also have the fact that it's kind of a generational thing. You know, millennials buy ridiculously expensive health food, this kind of thing. Um, and so for all those reasons on a fundamental basis, I think it looks pretty good, but also on a technical basis, it looks good too. So I like the overall trend shift that occurred last year. And I also like the fact that it actually rallies pretty well going into earnings. If you check out the earnings hot zone, you can see that especially over the course of the last four quarters, it's had a really strong rally going into these reports and last quarter in particular, you know, you had a major breakaway gap um, on the earnings report. So that tells me that the anticipation of this quarter's report is probably going to be even stronger because normally when we have a breakaway gap like that, uh, we get an even better run into earnings. I also just like the retail space right now overall. There's really not a lot of opportunity in the market right now with everything pulling back. Uh, but retail is an area that has stayed pretty strong. It's part of the reopening trade. You know, you've got Best Buy that's strong. You've got Kohl's that's strong. Um, and so looking at foods, I think makes sense. Now, looking at the sticker overall, you can see that you're just now entering the hot zone. You have an earnings report that's coming out on the 10th. And what I think is also really interesting about this one is this one has high short interest. So if you look at um, the percent of shares shorted, you got 17% short float here. And because of that, that's another reason why I like it, especially right near some previous highs. So four ideas on how to trade it. Number one, I think I'm just gonna buy some shares, um, hold that for the long run, see how those do. But in the options market, we can buy some long calls. So you could get the at the money calls. These are honestly a little bit expensive though, is a thing, I mean, 82% implied volatility. The way that I can tell they're expensive is because they don't really have any intrinsic value. If the stock is trading at $35 a share, $35.53, and the in the money $35 call is going for basically $380. So it's basically all extrinsic value. You definitely can buy it and trade it in the options market and still potentially make money off of it if there's a really big move. Um, but because the price is so high, that's why I'm a little bit more interested in just buying the shares. And then that way, you know, let's say that I'm wrong on this quarter, I can just hold it in the long run and then I don't have to have an option where, you know, it's going to run out of time on me. So overall, you know, I do think that you could buy the options. Um, just keep in mind they're kind of expensive or just pick up the shares. In a perfect world, what would happen would, let's see, so if we have an average move of about $7 and you're trading at 35, that would bring you to a new high. It wouldn't be an all time high, um, but it would bring you to a high that we haven't seen for, let's see, go all the way back. If it came all the way up here, uh, a high not seen since 2018. Now I have to imagine that short sellers who've gotten in all throughout here, all throughout here, all throughout here, 
I mean, they're feeling some pain for sure. This has traded from $6.99 up to $35. Those short sellers are going to continue throwing in the towel every time this ticks higher. And if it traded up 7 bucks, they for sure would continue throwing in the towel. So if we could get it up to that level, that would be amazing. Even better would be about $50. At $50 a share... I mean, that would be perfect because then you might have some of those last remaining shorts throwing in the towel up above these levels. So that just opens the door for it to go even higher. So overall, I like the potential short squeeze. I like the potential um, run into earnings here. The other one is GameStop. Now, I hate talking about this stock because it's a mean stock and, you know, what we do here at Simpler Trading is trade tickers that have actual good setups that are high probability in nature and we're not just you know buying something and talking about paper hands and whatnot um, we're actually you know looking at regular setups but the where where the difference lies on this one is that number one retail is really strong right now and number two this one actually does have really good stats for the run into earnings so you can see right here that you have a squeeze. This is um, consolidation right here. Typically, that consolidation is going to break out in the direction of the trend, which is up. Um, but also, if you look at the hot zone bars, you can see that this ticker normally does trade higher going into earnings. So not only does it normally trade higher going into earnings, but it usually does so by about 61%. So while I don't really like trading these kind of stocks and I think, you know, they're more of a YOLO trade where you just got to throw it on and see what happens because it could be awesome, but don't bet on it. Um, this one actually does have a setup. So it is a very volatile stock um, and we just entered the 21 bar zone. So looking at this here. Um, I think it would make sense if it pulled back even further, which would be around, let's say, 120 price point. That would be a much better entry just because um, you have that key area of support there. Because the chart is so wacky, it makes it really difficult to get good technical levels. So beyond using the 100 simple, there's not really a great level I can give you. Uh, but just know that I am watching GameStop for a potential move higher going into the earnings report. Um, I'm going to see if I can get an entry on it. The earnings report is going to be on the 8th. And if you look at the options chain, uh, it's going to be right in this week. The options are definitely expensive, but people haven't really caught on to this yet at all because there's no volume here. So I think it's an idea worth bringing up. Um, keep in mind, if you're trading GameStop, you know, you have to be ready for the ride. If you can't stand the heat, don't get it, go in the kitchen or whatever that saying is. But here you have two different ideas on two high short interest tickers, um, GameStop and UNFI. This is going to be a little bit of a wild ride, but I think they could be fun, which is why I'm bringing you the idea. So... I hope you learned something in this video. If you want to learn more, check out my Twitter at Trader Danielle. And other than that, have a great rest of your day. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 